I will just discuss if a pedestal needs a separate structural design in this video. So for example, I have an isolated footing. Let it be any kind of footing. It could be raft, it could be isolated footing. Do we need to actually design this? See, in most of the cases, your building is modeled either here you pin or sometimes you pin here something like this you are not going to pin here or here for sure yeah so most of the cases you pin at the base of the footing or at the center of the footing whichever you choose is not a big deal because generally it is all minor because your footings aren't that that huge so i'm assuming that i'm pinning or fixing whatever it is at the base here okay now in your analysis model your column is something like this okay and your plane beam might be some somewhere 1.5 or 2 meter whatever it depends on a lot of factors uh, about your footing and you have your frames going now your columns are already designed from this point to this point as a column so for example if this column is 300 by 600 this is already designed for taking the compression and you already have your rebars like this okay now why are you worried about this pedestal now if you are worried about the pedestal you should be worried about the column as well but this column and the pedestal is already designed for 300 by 600 size to take the compression coming from your column or from the upper levels so the columns are going to work it's not going to have any kind of issues now when it's not going to have any kind of issues your pedestal is also part of your column it's a column itself only that you have a projection yeah. so it's capable to take that load so there is no design of this pedestal it is designed as a column already now some of you might be worried about say okay i have this pedestal okay now when i design foundation we generally in your textbook you say that okay load by i'm assuming it's pinned so load by sbc gives you an area required okay and that area is given or you might slightly exceed the area and then you calculate the pressure back so p by a gives you the final uh, pressure that you need to design for and the moment is wl square by 2 all that you do so when you do this you are taking that your uh, footing is bending about this point say assuming the pedestal to act as a support and this is your le wl square by 2 the moment in your footing shear in your footing will be or well, i'm not getting into that now uh, but say the moment is wl square by 2 and l is your cantilever length and you take it from the face of the pedestal okay now the column is already designed for a huge amount of axial load so this reaction coming on the pedestal due to the pressure is not going to be more than that so you may not need an additional design for that so already you have the column bars here and that 300 by 600 or whatever itself with huge number of bars are adequate for taking the compression coming on that even when this is acting as a cantilever and bending what action is coming on that particular area pedestal it's the same compression or the direct forces coming there so there is no much additional action coming so in this case there is no need of an additional design there yeah probably since you have a projection here from the column you will have to give an additional rebar say for example i will just blow up and draw that pedestal area so when your main rebar is like this there will be an area where you may need an additional reinforcement so maybe you can give something like a u bar like this to ensure that this face has some steel so maybe 10 net 150 or something like that along the pedestal so if you have this as the pedestal you will have u bars like this in both direction yeah so that's what i have drawn so this should be adequate to take care of the 
pedestal edges it should not be exposed without any rebar so we have given that rebars as well yeah so we have to give it in this way so that's all you need to do when you have a small pedestal on your footing thank you hope this helps